All right, we're back. We're on page three, notes 21 of Calc AB. We're talking about volume of uh, known cross sections, right? So you're told that, you know, the region is the base of something, and then you're going to, on top of it, build semicircles or equilateral triangles or squares or whatever. So uh, you end up just always doing the integral from like A to B of the area of a cross section which will usually be S squared times something, where S is for the segment that you make, top takeaway bottom, or if it's uh, perpendicular to the y-axis, it's gonna be right takeaway left, which I think we're gonna deal with here. Uh, so let's get started. So uh, my advice for all of these is to just calm down, realize that you know what you're doing, and like get in there and do it. So uh, it's like people just freak out a little bit, and I think that that really makes it more difficult to solve problems. Um, so let's see what we can do. So R is the region in the first quadrant bounded by this thing and this. Okay. In the first quadrant. What the, what's the x-intercept of that? I don't know. Um, set up two integrals in terms of both x and y for the area of R. Evaluate them on your calculator. All right. So do I need to figure this out? I think I do. Like if, if x is 0, I get e over 5 minus 1. Like that's negative, right? Uh, what, what does this look like? So if X is equal to zero, I get, uh, like I said, one fifth E minus one. That's definitely negative. So what is the intercept of this thing? F of, F of X equals zero. One fifth E to the X plus one minus one equals zero e to the x plus 1 equals 5, x plus 1 equals uh, the natural log of 5, natural log of 5 minus 1. Sweet. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to go with like this. And then uh, 2. So I think our region is this little region here. I think that's what we're dealing with. And then uh, apparently this value right here is, what was it? Natural log of five minus one. This is ridiculous. All right, so I could do for area, right? So uh, I can do the integral from the natural log of five minus one to two of the top curve is just f of x. So we use names, and then the bottom curve is 0, and dx. All right, so that's one version. And we're also supposed to do it in terms of y. So I need to uh, solve, solve this thing for x. So great. So y equals 1 fifth e to the x plus 1 minus 1 y plus 1 multiplied by 5, e to the x plus 1. So x is going to be the natural log of 5 quantity y plus 1 minus 1. I do not remember there being a question this gross in the notes, but uh, kind of looking like it. All right, so that's, the, that's this curve. Uh, is x equals the natural log of 5 quantity y plus 1 minus 1. Yep, minus 1. Weird, man. All right, so what I think I can do is where do these intersect? This is 2 comma 1 e cubed over 5 minus 1. Great, e cubed. Minus five, what? Minus e cubed over five, and then minus one. Wow. Okay, so in terms of y, it's gonna be from bottom to top, so from zero to e cubed over five minus one. Now the function, we have to do right takeaway left, so the right-hand curve is two minus the left-hand curve is the natural log of five on the y plus one minus one. This will be exciting to, 
I'm guessing these will be approximations. All right, that's just straight up area. Whew. This is going to be, I don't know. All right, let's do this. Let's try to do this. Calculator. Mm, new document. Uh, f of x is one fifth e to the x plus one minus one. All right, so I'm supposed to do the integral. This is crazy. The integral from natural log of five minus one to two of f of x dx. And you get whatever. 1.627. 1.627. So now the moment moment-ish of truth. Uh, one thing you can do is you can always do like solve uh, y equals f of x for x. And then uh, or uh, even better is to solve uh, x equals f of y for y and then you'll like get your function so that that is the function that we wanted that's that's what we're using so i think i need to do the integral from zero to e cubed over five minus one this seems ridiculous two minus uh the quantity natural log of five the quantity x plus oh y plus one y plus one uh, minus one, okay, and then dy. Totally wrong, awesome. Why is that wrong? Oh, I didn't, uh, I'm using a parentheses. Well, maybe. Um, this whole thing, I don't know how to get a parentheses around that. Oh, first of all, I'm not even doing it. This, Minus one is not supposed to be in there. It's supposed to be out here, but then this function, you know what? I'm just demonstrating like poor form here. This is what I should have done. G of y set equal to natural log of five quantity y plus one. So there you go. I've, I've demonstrated the wrong way to do it. This is what I should have done. Two minus G of y. And then there. So get out, get out. You can see we get 1.627 in both cases. That was gross. Also, I did something really weird. I don't know why I did the solve thing where I did like the inverse. That was not what I wanted to do. I, I wanted to do just the first one. I don't know what happened there. Um, uh, okay, let's go back. Let's take a look. I, I think it's gonna be quick to finish, maybe, potentially. Uh, so let's see. Turns out the area thing, mostly I'm just whiny today. I don't know. Am I not feeling it? Hard to say. Um, R is the base of this basology is cross section perpendicular to the y axis. Are semicircles? Okay, so I'm going to reproduce this, by which I mean I'm just going to copy it. Uh, duplicate, bring you down here. What don't we need? Uh, we don't need, we don't need this, so I'm gonna get rid of it. And then uh, we need mm, everything else. Okay, so let's draw an S, a segment. This is the key, draw S, perpendicular to the Y axis, that's S. So S, in this case, is gonna be the right-hand curve, which is two minus the left-hand curve, Let's do a let statement. Let g of y equal that stupid thing. The natural log of five quantity y plus one. So you saw like I kind of screwed myself over by not doing this before. I got I got a problem wrong on the calculator because I hadn't done that. That's s right right takeaway left. Now what we want to do is semicircles. So semicircles we know are just pi over eight integral of s squared. So it's going to be I over eight, the integral from, all right, so where we start, since we're perpendicular to the y-axis, we need to use y values. We start at zero, we end at e cubed over five minus one, delightfully. So zero to e cubed over five minus one of s, which is two minus g of y squared dy. That's it. If you know what you're doing, you're good to go on these. 
Um, and then let's do the next one. So I think we can duplicate this again. And then like maybe if you ever need to, you just draw extra pictures. So R is the base of a solid whose cross section is perpendicular to the y-axis are isosceles right triangles. So this is not one that we've done before. And then furthermore, the leg is in the plane. Okay. So in this case, let's just, S is still two minus G of Y. Um, I'm gonna draw an isosceles right triangle. Well, I'm gonna try to. Right, so the leg is in the plane. So this is S. So this is also S. So then the area is one half base times height. So one half S squared. So the volume that we're looking for here is gonna be one half the integral from, it's still the same bounds. So since it's perpendicular to the y axis, we use y values. So from zero to e cubed over five minus one, zero e cubed over five minus one, and then s squared, and s is two minus g of y. Two minus g of y squared dy. Hardest part of this problem, I would say, is definitely the area thing. And I don't even know why. Mostly because I just like mess up. You know, you walk in with a bad attitude, you're gonna get bad results. Just basically, basically what I was demonstrating there. Uh, what can I do here? I think I can just do pi over eight, take this thing, and then somehow s slap a squared around this. And then uh, 0.519, that looks, yeah, that was a good move. Approximately 0 0.518. I think I said the wrong thing. Who knows? And then, uh, well, I can just steal this and change this to one half. I get 0 0.6, 0 0.660. Approximately 0 0.660. Can this get the exact value? I'm not even like asking it for it. Ooh can and should are not the same. Um, so we'll go with the decimal on that. Okay, so I'm gonna stop this here, go back to the notes. Uh, I struggled for whatever reason on the area. Mostly I just like came in, as I mentioned, with a bad attitude. You know, you don't, you don't bring the same fire every day. All right, so we ended up getting it though. We got our area, we wrote it in terms of X, we wrote it in terms of Y. Once you start thinking in terms of Y, Pretty straightforward problem. Uh, just don't be intimidated and uh, I think you'll be fine. All right, so I'm gonna stop this here. I'll be back in the next video to do the rest of the page. So I will see you there.